Hey guys, it's time to do a gaming comparison between the iPhone 7 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So we're going to be playing two of my favorite high graphical games. So first off, we have the Asphalt 8 game here on both devices. And I have already launched here on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Look at how good this game looks on this full screen infinity display. Absolute madness. So I'm um, just going to go into play and we're going to go into the season number one. Welcome and let's just quickly play this. It's, uh, next. Start the race. And a uh, bit of a comparison of the loading times. You can see the iPhone faster there. So... Just gonna pause this, all right. So first we're gonna play this game on the iPhone 7 Plus here while the Galaxy S8 Plus waits. Okay, so looking pretty stunning as expected from an iPhone with a great optimization. It's looking really, really good. I play this game so much on my iPhone, like I have cleared up so many seasons. It's free on the App Store and on the Play Store so you can check it out. We even have a latest title called as Asphalt Extreme, so you can also check that one out. So um, yeah, looking pretty stunning here on the iPhone 7 Plus. So far I haven't experienced any lag so yeah looking good let's check out the performance on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus okay resume wow oh my god this looks so stunning and as far as the frame rate is concerned I can definitely see that uh, it is running smoothly. Uh, frame rate is very much stable. And super awesome performance. And uh, I have to say, I mean, you have to see the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus in, you know, in person. Like, this display looks so insane. And... Uh, it was pretty smooth on the iPhone, but to be honest, if I had to pick one when it comes to playing this game, I would say Galaxy S8 Plus because the display is just so overwhelming. And this game gets uh, updated like every week or month, so they will optimize this game shortly for the Galaxy S8 because right now I don't think it's optimized. I don't think the S8 and the S8 Plus has this, you know, optimization for apps and games. Not right now because, I mean, they're not even out officially. So, but yeah, looking absolutely stunning. We can actually resume the game on both phones and it has this auto driving mode. So side by side, a bit of a frame rate comparison. We are at different uh, kind of location, but still, frame rate is looking pretty good on both phones. Um, awesome, awesome stuff on the finish line here with the Galaxy S8 Plus. All right, next up we have GTA San Andreas. Let's just check it out here. So. Um, I'm going to go into options and I'm going to go into display and setup and I'm going to restore the defaults because we cannot change the graphics on the iPhone. It is set to default by developers. So that's what I'm going to do. Previously, I was playing this game on the Mac setting. So yeah, let's just uh, resume the game on both phones. And iPhone done, done, done. So let's check it out here on the iPhone first, then we're going to play it on 
the galaxy. So let's see. Okay, CJ. Wow, looking great. You can see the camera movement and everything. So quickly grab a car. I have to say iPhone is handling this game perfectly um, without any issue or lag which is a good thing and Let's check out on the uh, Galaxy S8 Plus. All right, looking pretty good, smooth. Let's uh, move in circle, okay. Wow, this phone, this phone handles this game pretty well when it comes to the default settings. Like, and if you're gonna download this game on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, Play it on default because that's where you're going to get uh, the best performance. So let's uh, quickly play this with this bike and pick up the pace. It's just so easy to play on the Galaxy S8 Plus because of its bigger display. And I can, you know, just press these buttons without any problem. Oops. Let's uh, grab the bike again. Again, it's a bit hard to play through camera, you know, not that bad on this game. I remember playing this game on the PlayStation, uh, yeah, it was PlayStation 2, pretty sure. Oops. Do a bit of a comparison of the camera. You can see looking really smooth on both devices. And again, there's a huge difference in the resolution as well because um, Galaxy S8 Plus is running things on 1440p. Well, here it is 1080p only. Oh no! Busted. <laughs> so... So yeah, that was a gaming comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the iPhone 
7 Plus. Games were smooth on both devices, but uh, I have to say uh, the experience was uh, a lot different because the Galaxy S8 Plus is like uh, having this infinity display and you know, it was total, total different experience. Uh, and here we have these huge bezels. So yeah, that was a comparison of gaming between the Beast Galaxy S8 Plus versus the iPhone 7 Plus. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and see you guys soon. Peace out.